Hello, I'm Beth Wagner, physical therapist. In this video, I'm going to show you an excellent rhythmic stabilization exercise progression for the shoulder. I created this video as a follow-up to my initial shoulder stabilization video that includes the best basic exercises to begin rehabilitation following dislocation. The exercise progression in this video is appropriate and most beneficial after a few weeks have passed since the most recent dislocation and you've already started basic isometric exercises. If you haven't already gone through my first shoulder stabilization video, please press pause on this video and return when you're ready for the next step in strengthening and stabilization. First, I wanna briefly talk about rhythmic stabilization and then I'll dive into the exercise progression. During dislocation, there is damage to the nerve endings in the joint that tell the brain about the position and movement of the shoulder, which is called proprioception. This means that the messages from the shoulder to the brain are slower and not as accurate. The brain then has a more difficult time instructing the muscles of the shoulder to respond with movement that maintains good mechanics and provides the best possible power and precision. Rhythmic stabilization is a specific technique that improves strength, dynamic stabilization, and performance. Rhythmic stabilization retrains proprioception and facilitates quick response to resistance from different directions. Basically, it takes isometric strengthening exercises up a notch by adding quick, alternating resistance at different angles. I'll use a tennis ball to provide fluid, smooth, resistive force. You could also use a racquetball or a massage ball. The ball should have a little bit of give and fit nicely in the palm of your hand. A golf ball, for example, would be too hard and too small for this exercise. The first position for this exercise will be on all fours on a cushioned surface. This could be a carpeted floor or a thick towel on top of a smooth surface. You want to have adequate cushion for your knees and your wrists, as well as material that will provide a little bit of friction for the ball. If you have knee pain or otherwise unable to tolerate being on your hands and knees, you could try this exercise with the ball on a table that's a little bit shorter than hip height so that you're able to bend forward just slightly onto the surface of the table. Start on all fours with your knees directly below your hips and about hip distance apart and with your hands directly below your shoulders, about shoulders distance apart. And be sure that you have neutral alignment in your spine so that your belly isn't tipped down or your back arched up, but right in the middle with the normal curves in your spine. Now bring the tennis ball underneath the palm of the arm that you want to strengthen. Begin with slow, smooth movement. Gradually increase the speed as you feel comfortable and as your strength improves. The first direction will be side to side. Gently press down into the ball and move your hand side to side, no more than about an inch. Start slow and as you feel comfortable, increase the speed. Perform 20 repetitions side to side. The next direction is front to back. Roll the ball under your palm forward and backward. 20 repetitions. And the next direction is a circle clockwise. Move the ball under your palm in a circle clockwise, starting with slow, smooth motion. Perform 20 repetitions. The last direction is a circle counterclockwise. Move the ball under your hand in the circle in the opposite direction. Perform 20 repetitions, gradually increasing the speed of the movement as you are able to. Keep the motion small, no more than about an inch in any direction. As your strength improves and your speed exceeds your ability to count the repetitions, then switch to time. Start with five seconds on a timer. As tolerated, increase the duration by a few seconds. Stay at the new level for two to three days before adding a few more seconds. 
when you're able to maintain the rhythmic stabilization for about 10 seconds in all directions, then progress to standing up. You'll also need clear wall space at shoulder height. If you don't have access to a blank wall, the back of a door works well for this exercise too. It's important to do a quick postural adjustment before you do this exercise every time. Doing this exercise with poor posture is not only ineffective, but may actually cause some a tissue damage to the shoulder and to the neck and upper back. All right, to do a quick postural adjustment before starting, Start with your feet about hips distance apart and bring your belly button in toward your spine, just firming up the muscles in your lower abdomen. Now lift your chest and relax the shoulder blades down and back. Just do one or two quick shoulder circles here, lifting your shoulders up, back, and then down, bringing your shoulder blades closer together in the back. And finally, let's do a little bit of a chin tuck. Just bring that chin a little bit back so that you're more in neutral alignment. Your posture should still be relaxed and you should feel a little bit of flexibility and movement available in your neck and upper back and shoulders. Now turn to face the wall about an arm's length away from the wall. Have your hips, your feet hips distance apart. Lift your arms straight in front of you up to about shoulder height and gently press the ball into the wall. This should be very light pressure. Now squeeze your shoulder blades together just a little bit more. Your shoulders should be in neutral position, not squeezed back excessively and not pressed forward, but right in the middle, neutral alignment. Start with slow movement side to side, no more than an inch. As you get used to this movement, gradually increase the speed, still keeping the range of motion small. Session by session, gradually increase the speed of movement. Start with 20 repetitions side to side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, etc. up to 20. After 20 repetitions, pause. If your arm fatigues or your shoulder gets too tired, you can relax your arm, shake it out a little bit, Reset your posture and then continue. Okay. With my arm at shoulder height, now I'll press in to the wall with very light resistance. Now the second direction of movement will be up and down. Again, start with slow, smooth motion up and down, no more than about an inch. As you get more comfortable and more used to this exercise, increase the speed of movement. Shoot for 20 repetitions, or as many as you can do comfortably, and then pause. Again, if you need to rest your arm, go ahead and lower it, shake it out, reset your posture, and continue. Lift your arm to shoulder height. The next direction will be a circle clockwise. So with slow movement, move the ball in a circle. Increase the speed as you feel comfortable, working up to 20 repetitions. Then pause and repeat in the opposite direction. Now counterclockwise, move the ball in a circle. 20 repetitions. Keep your elbow straight but not locked out throughout the exercise. After 20 repetitions in all directions, lower your arm and shake it out and rest. Start with 20 repetitions or as many as you can do in all directions. Perform one time on the shoulder that's been affected. You can always do this exercise on the other shoulder as well, if it feels like that would be beneficial for you. I recommend starting with one to two sessions per day, depending on how your body feels and how you're tolerating it. Once you can do 20 repetitions with quick motion, then I suggest switching to time instead of repetitions. Using a timer, start with five seconds in each direction. As your shoulder gets stronger, you'll likely be able to move from one direction to the next direction without a rest break. Listen to your body. It's just fine to rest as needed. Reset your posture and then continue. As your shoulder gets stronger, increase the duration on your timer working up to 10 seconds in each direction. 
Once you're able to do 10 seconds in all directions, then it's time to progress to another position. We'll add a 45 degree angle and then an 80 to 90 degree angle. And I'll show you that now. After you can do 10 seconds side to side, up and down, circle one way and circle the next way. Then let's move to a 45 degree angle. So I'll switch to my left hand so you can see that a little bit better. With your arm lifted straight up into the wall, now turn your body about 45 degrees at an angle. Again, maintaining good posture with your belly button pulled in, chest lifted, shoulder blades relaxed, a little bit of a chin tuck. Gently press into the ball with the ball under the palm of your hand and repeat the side to side movement, up and down movement, circle one way and then circle the other way. Once you're able to complete 10 seconds in all directions at a 45 degree angle, then turn your body again, this time to about 80 to 90 degrees so that your arm is almost straight out to the side. Again, gently press into the wall and move the ball side to side, starting with 20 repetitions, up and down, 20 repetitions with a small range of motion, and then circle one way, and then circle the other way. During and after this exercise, it's normal to feel some stretch discomfort, muscle fatigue, or even muscle soreness in the shoulder and the neck. But this exercise should not be painful. Stop right away if you feel any sharp shooting pain, or if you have any numbness and tingling running down your arm while you're doing the exercise or afterward. If you experience pain following a progression of the exercise where you've added additional time or you've changed the angle as I described, then go back to the prior level that you were able to perform the exercise without any pain and continue at that pain-free level for two to three days before you attempt to progress the exercise again. This rhythmic stabilization exercise progression is an excellent complementary exercise to many other shoulder strengthening and stabilizing exercises. For some suggestions and ideas of other shoulder rehab exercises, please check out my shoulder rehab playlist. The link to that playlist is up in the corner and in the description below. And that wraps up this video on rhythmic stabilization of the shoulder. I hope you found this rhythmic stabilization exercise progression helpful to stabilize your shoulder and ultimately help you get back to doing the things you love to do every single day. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Please leave any comments and questions down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I'm able. Here's to your healing, health, and happiness. Have a wonderful day.